Hey everybody, welcome back. We are at working on the 1927D. Um, my goal is to get the crankshaft out, possibly the camshaft, but no promises on that. Um, That's a good job. Good job, thank you. Uh, real quick, I've done some research on this first reduction gear, Whoa. and it is pressed onto the shaft. And many, many people have told me, do not pull this gear with a puller you need to put it in a press. It's easier to pull the entire shaft as a unit with the gear on it. So I'm gonna leave that one alone. Luckily I was able to get the um, bolt out that's behind this gear for the main bearing carrier. And hopefully what my plan is, is to get the crankshaft out the flywheel side. So I've got all of the bolts out for the main bearing carrier around here. I've got the bolt salt all the way around here. I've got the bolt salt for the seal carrier and the oil slinger. Um, I'm not sure exactly what these are. I'm guessing they're a set bolt for the main bearing carrier and components within there. Same on this side. This one's a much longer carrier or a much longer set bolt. So I just loosen those up uh, what else have I done? I removed the two oil feed lines. This short one goes from the junction block here where the um, redhead oil pressure indicator is. It goes from there down to this main bearing feed. And then there's a longer one, this one here, if you can see that, goes from this junction block over to this side down here. So I think I've got everything I need off of the main bearing carriers. We'll go ahead and pull this carrier. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think this should just slide off so I'm gonna put some gloves on and work on getting this off but I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure on that because I believe this notch just like on an A or B John Deere lines up with the flywheel and that keeps the slinger rotating to keep the um, main bearings lubricated and also carries the oil back into the main bearing so let me, uh, oh, there's still oil coming out of the oil lines. That's good. So let me, oh, I also pulled the nut off of this intermediate gear, which is basically just a drive gear for the governor. There's a cotter pin and a castle nut on here. So I'm not exactly sure, but I think I can take the crankshaft out without pulling the intermediate gear, I think, I hope. But I probably could try to knock this in. It would probably go. But my concern is, oh, well, it would probably go. We can try it. But I just don't want to hit, I don't want the gear to hit this cutout here and it would be really close so it should slide off the shaft as the shaft is driven in though so I'm going to get my engine hoist set up so I can support the crankshaft which by the way turns but I don't want to turn it too much because there's probably zero oil in the mains and I don't want to really mess anything up with the mains as far as the bearing surfaces go. So let me get my engine hoist set up and we'll go from there. Okay. 
So you got to be, I got this main bearing loose on the flywheel side, but you have to be very careful because there are shims in these main bearings. Oh, and I just dropped them. <laughs> it's okay, as long as you keep track of where they go, that's all that matters really. Still quite a bit of shims left in here, which is a good thing, I think. So, I've got my This isn't really the best. Or easiest way. Okay, well, crankshaft is hanging, but the problem is I got to get this bearing off the other side here. What am I doing? I'm trying to fix it. I've got a little bit of paint thinner on this. I don't know how this comes out as far as this. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to the camera. Say hi, camera. See, this main bearing half is loose, I know, I but I know don't know how. Just want to support it just enough to where I can work on getting this bearing off. Get this emery cloth. Try to clean some of the junk off of here. I just clean on the tractor. Now this is the challenging part is how do you I know I know I gotta try and snake Snake the crankshaft out of the main bearing. Stick on the bearing. Hey, be careful. In order to get it out of that side. So I have to keep rotating the crank while it's being supported. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and let it down carefully. And I'm working under this tent because it's about 9,000 degrees today, so. Not what I wanted to do. Okay. 
Okay, look out, Baba, look out. No, 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 come on. Daddy's got to... Whoop. And that's not what I wanted to do either. All right, let me play with this for a bit so I don't waste too much battery and then we'll see what happens. Okay, well, number one, I fought for 20 minutes to get that main bearing out of the other side over there. I've come to the conclusion that it would be easier to pull the transmission spline shaft and reduction gear in order to pull this, but I made it this far. And I'm trying to do this without damaging anything. Should be doing it with I'm gonna move the camera here. That is heavy. Are you heavy? Are you heavy? Are you heavy? Are you heavy? Okay. Yep, it's heavy. Yeah. I I love it in it. And unfortunately, all of the shims fell out of the other main bearing, but as long as they're even on both sides, that should be all that matters. So, whoo, man, that was, that was heavy. We did not have an even amount of shims on here. Mm, I don't one. think. One side's got four, and the other's I got. Oh no, there is four on there. Okay. Nice black. I like black. But I think there's three different thicknesses here. So thick, black. medium, and thin. Thick, medium, and thin. As long as they're even, that's all that matters. Here's the main bearing shell. I know you can't see nothing right now, but my hands are covered in oil and penetrating oil, so I don't want to touch the camera. All right. Okay, crankshaft is out. I also pulled the caps for the camshaft. There's one on each side, one over here. I pulled the oil pump off, which is here. It's just a series of bolts around the plate. And then there's two studs that the bottom portion of the housing slides over. These are the carriers for the end of the camshaft. Uh, the clutch side has a small thrust washer, so make sure you pay attention to that. In order to get the cam out, I have to loosen the bolts here. There's one on the other side, on the bottom side of the cam take those bolts out and then I'm going to have to spread this a little bit with probably some screwdrivers and tap the camshaft out of the gear and then it'll slide out the clutch side of the tractor.
So once that's done, I can take this lock bolt and jam nut out and I should be able to take all of the cam followers out. But I'm about wrapped up for today. That one, that one exhausted me. That crank is heavy. The main bearing fought me. So when we put this all back together, the crank's gonna go in first and then the reduction gear and spline shaft will go in. So Dad. that's Dad. gonna do it. At least for this portion of the video. I don't know if we're going to follow it up with anything or not, but let's, uh, let's get cleaned up and maybe we can get the cam out in a later time. Okay, well, pull the bolts out of the cam gear, drove a screwdriver in as a wedge, and use a brass drift to... Oh, we got to pull the key out. Got to pull the key out in order for me to get out of that hole. So, I don't know if you guys can see the key right there, but the gear we can take out. And, uh, let's see, how am I going to get that out of there? Maybe I can use, this isn't going to work. Maybe I can come out like this, come up, there we go, there. Camshaft is out. Now, we just have to get this shaft out that the there's a pipe plug on this side too okay maybe we can get that pipe plug out oh yeah turning right out So there's a pipe plug on this side here. But is it going to allow me to Problem is this thing has got a lot of rust on it. So let me uh let me do some cleaning and we'll get back to you. Well, we've got a bad bushing, number one. So we're going to have to find a bushing for that. I'm just slowly tapping it out and the shaft has a little bit of a Feels like it's mushroomed on the end a little bit, which isn't good. But How exactly I'm 
I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna get that out of there. It goes through this bore, but it won't go through the bore of the cam followers. I don't know. I think we've got some work to do here. Okay. The crankcase is officially empty. Camshaft, cam gear, cam followers, main bearings, crankshaft, oil pump. And that's going to do it for this video. Not bad. We made quite a bit of progress. A lot of progress. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. So. Now uh, we got to clean stuff up and assess it, see what it's going to look like, um, see if we'll have to send the crankshaft and the camshaft out to be ground. I'm sure we will uh, due to the rust that's on them, but you never know. We'll see, but that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for wrenching with me, and as always, stay tuned because the 27-28D is making progress, so see you guys later.